Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. According to the Bible, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of the out there, pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations. They may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. One of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. It's Shalom. It's your brother Halaki from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah with another video. <laughs> And this time I want to go into our victory, man, because the victory is already written. It's already ordained. It's been established before the foundation of the world was laid. We, as Israelites, and not only Israelites, but Israelites of the household of faith, Lord willing, we continue to endure. We have the victory, man. And there's nothing, anything, there's nothing our enemies can do against that. Because at the end of the day, this is the most high's will. We have the victory and faith. So let's, matter of fact, we're going to come back to this first John because this is not going to, it's not going to be a long video just to, just to hit the point and just to show you, man, that our faith, this thing that we've been blessed with is a, a very, very big deal because that's the only way we can be saved this time, man. So this is Ephesians chapter two, verse eight. It says what? Matter of fact, before we get into that, <laughs> Let's show you what faith is first. Hebrews 11 and 1 says what? Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So y'all see, faith is what? Believing in something that you can't see. And that's what we do when we go into these scriptures. Yeah, these, wor these words are written on, this, on these pages, but we haven't seen any of these things, man. We haven't seen the Lord face to face. We haven't seen miracles done, but we read about them. And the faith that we've been blessed with, we believe in these things, man. The kingdom of heaven, so forth and so on. These are all things that we can't see, but we know they're coming because what? The heavenly father, Yahweh, is faithful who promised, man. You see? Verse 6 goes on to say what? But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is, and that, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And that's what it is, man. Like the scriptures tell you, man, the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. So you have to believe that the Most High is going to reward us for, for doing this work on his behalf, man. Because that's what we're doing. We are here working for the Lord to uplift and exalt the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, and putting ourselves on the back burner, man. Making sure that the, 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 the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah is pushed forth in the earth. Being the Most High's vessels of glorification, man. You see, diligently seeking Him. Going into these scriptures, reading the scriptures, putting forth these videos, going on the highways and byways. That's us diligently seeking the Lord. Hey, becoming a new creature in Yahweh Shah. And it's all through what? Through this faith that we have been blessed with. Because that's exactly what it is. Having faith is a blessing from the Most High. And everybody doesn't have it. Only a select few on this planet Earth truly have faith. And that's the remnant of Israel, man. Those who are going to get the victory through faith in the Lord Yahweh Shah. So this is, uh, now we can get to Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 just to show you that it's a gift, man. And not, and not everyone has it. So Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is a gift of the Most High. You see that? It's lucky. It's lucky. It's But one more time, Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of the Most High. You see? This is all This is all the work done the Most High, man. Believing what we believe in, speaking on what we speak on, bringing these scriptures out. This is all of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, man. We believe in these words because the Most High put that ingredient of faith in us for us to believe these things, man. Because when we go out here in the highways and byways with the true wisdom and the understanding of the Lord, not... Many people, they can't understand it because what? The Most High didn't bless them with the gift of faith to believe in the things that we say. 
So this is very precious, man. The victory is going to be very precious because it's only coming to a small, few, uh, a small few first and foremost, man. It's only coming to those who believe in the Lord Yahweh Shah. And all you guys out here talking about Yahweh Shah is not to be, meant to be worshipped. He's just some regular dude, so forth and so on. You're going to be out here with the, with the sad face when the Lord returns, man. Because Yahweh Shah is meant to be worshipped. We overcome our enemies because of our faith that because of the faith that we have in Yahweh Shah, man. You see? Through our faith in Yahweh Shah is, is, is how we're gonna be saved. How we're gonna overcome. How we're gonna endure. You see? How we're gonna maintain sanity in these crazy and chaotic and perilous times that we're about to enter into, man. It's all gonna be based upon what? Our faith in the Lord Yahweh Shah. You see? So let's go back to 1 John. Because it tells you how we get the victory, man. 1 John 5 and 4 says what? For, for, who, for whatsoever is born of the Most High overcometh the world. And that goes into the elect, man. The elect are born of the Most High through faith in Yahweh Shah. And this, this has been established and preordained before the world was laid. You see, so the, the, the ones the most I gave that faith to, to believe in Yahweh Shah, they are the ones that's going to overcome the world, man. And Lord willing, I'll be a part of that number as well as, as well as you other sincere brothers and sisters, man. Because that's how we're going to overcome. Faith in the Lord, man. It goes on to say what? And this is the victory that overcometh the world. Even our faith. You see, the victory is going to come through faith, man. And you got guys out here mocking and talking shit about us, talking about we're faith-based Israelites. Well, that's how the victory is coming, man. That's how we're going to overcome the time of Jacob's trouble is through faith. That's how we're going to end up being taken up into the chariots is through faith. Looking down and watching Babylon burn, that's going to be accomplished through what? Through faith, man. It's all about faith in the Lord Yahweh Shah. That's how we overcome and get the victory over this present world. Over our enemy Esau Edom, man. It's through our faith. You see? Verse 5 says what? Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Yahweh Shah is the son of the Most High. You see that? If you believe and have faith that Yahweh Shah is the son of God, the son of Yahweh, that he sent him down here to be a propitiation for us, you see? To give us repentance and forgiveness of sins. You overcome the world. If you believe that Yahweh Shah was, was dead and, and raised up after the third day, you're going to overcome the world, man. If you believe that he was after his resurrection, he was, he was on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights breaking bread with, with his disciples, you're going to overcome the world, man. If you believe that the Lord was taken up in the, in, into the heavens to be put back on the right-hand side of the Most High, and he's there right now making intercession for us on our behalf, we are going to overcome the world, man. You see? Because we have faith in these things that's real. We have faith in what uh, in the uh, accounts left of us, or for us, of what Yahweh Shah has done for us, man. We have faith in that. And because we have faith in it, we are going to overcome this current situation that we're in, man. It's all driven by faith in the Lord Yahweh Shah. Let's get another one. Because that's 1 Corinthians, man. 1 Corinthians 15 goes and tells you about our victory, man. 1 Corinthians 15 and uh, uh, 57 says what? But thanks be to the Most High, which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shah. By way of our what? By way of our faith. Faith is a key component to this ministry, man. Faith in the Lord, Yahweh Shah, is the key component component is the driving factor man and without it you cannot be saved without faith in Yahweh Shah you will not receive the victory man faith is only going to come to those who have uh, like you. <laughs> victory is, is, is only going to come to those who have faith in the Lord Yahweh Shah as it is written not as you've learned in these Christian churches and all this other bullshit man like the Lord Yahweh Shah said he that believeth upon me as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. You have to believe upon the uh, believe upon the Lord 
as it is written. Point blank period, man. You see? And that's how we get the victory, man. It, it don't come any other way. It don't come by taking up arms, man. By being strapped at camp. It don't come by making deals with the fucking enemy. The only way us Israelites are going to receive the victory this time is through faith in the Lord Yahweh Shah. Point blank period. You see? This is the only way, man. So all you guys who are out here down talking Yahweh Shah, man, making light of the sacrifice that he's made for us, you dudes already lost, man. You see? You're already defeated. Because the only avenue of victory that the Israelites had this time around, or we have ever had, is through the faith. It's, it's through faith, man. And now it's faith in who? Faith in the Lord Yahweh Shah. And that's it. Let's get this in Revelation. Uh you know what? It's one in fourteen too. Which one I wanna get? Oh. Let's get this first. Yup, Revelation 7 and 14 says what? Matter of fact, this is verse, this is verse 13 because when you go into Revelation 7, it goes, this is a chapter of victory, man, talking about the 144,000 and also that great multitude, which are Israelites, who are going to be saved from all the lands that they have been scattered to all throughout the world. Now the angel is asking the apostle John, John the Revelator, who are these people? Now let's listen to it. Revelation 7 and 13 says what? And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, what are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. You see that? These are the ones who got victory because of the faith that he had in the Lord Yahweh Shah. You see? The 144,000 in that great multitude, he's seeing them receive the victory because of the faith that they had in the Lord Yahweh Shah. That's what it's all leading to, man. You see? And because of this faith, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to allow us to tap into an access that we've never had before as Israelites, man. Verse 7 goes on to say what? Therefore are they before the throne of the Most High and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. Because at this point, you see, through the faith that we have in the Lord Yahweh Shah, we're going to be brought up under what? The second covenant. Being made immortals, man. Having the law, statutes, and commandments in our minds. And the Most High is going gonna, is gonna to fully dwell amongst his people forevermore. This is what our faith in Yahweh Shah is leading us to, man. Bringing us back into an estate of being what? The sons of the Most High and the fullness of what that means, man. That's what's happening. And it's driven by what? Faith in the Lord, Yahweh Shah. Verse 16 says what? They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. Neither shall the, the sun light on them, nor any heat. You see? We're going to be taken from this low condition that we suffer right now. All through faith in Yahweh Shah. No more being spiritually hungry, spiritually thirsty, man. You see? No more of Esau's wicked doctrines and philosophies polluting the minds of our people you see we're coming back into the pureness of being the sons of the most high man all through all driven by our faith in Yahweh Shah verse 17 says what for the land which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto fo living fountains of water and the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. You see that? So no more of the pollutions of the world defiling our people. But we're coming back into a state of being completely pure. As Yahweh Shai is pure, man. And he's going to feed us with what? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Shai and the fullness of it. Those fountains of living, living water, man. And because we're coming back into that estate, 
all tears or all suffering is going to wipe the way, be wiped away from us, man. And we're going to come into that rest. This is all driven. You see? This is all gotten through faith in the Lord Yahweh Shah, man. This is our victory that we're reading about here. And it doesn't come any other way except for faith in the Lord, man. You see? It's only, it's all about faith in the Lord Yahweh Shah. That's all it's about. That's all it's about, man. Let's get another one. I'll wrap it up on this one. What's that? Revelation 12. If I'm mistaken. Yep. Yep, yep. Revelation 12 and 10, it says what? And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his Mashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Talking about what? The downfall of Esau Edom and the accuser of our brethren. You see? He's about to lose. He's in the process of falling right now. You see? It's written that this man is going to lose. But salvation is coming to those who believe in Yahweh Shah, man. You see, the kingdom is coming to, to those who believe in Yahweh Shah first and foremost, the elect. You see, <laughs> through the faith of the elect, Esau is going to be taken down. And verse 11 tells you that what? And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and through faith in that blood, through faith in that sacrifice. And by the word of their testimony, through faith in the word of Yahweh. It's all driven by faith, man. We don't get the victory no other way. And it says, well, and they love not their lives unto death. Because we know through faith that we have what? The victory in the Lord Yahweh Shah. That this is not our life. That this is not our rest. That we're waiting for something greater to come when the Lord Yahweh Shah returns. And being in that type of mindset is going to allow us to, to, to receive the victory, Lord willing, we continue to endure, man. It's written. We just have to continue to keep the faith and Lord willing, the most I doesn't take his spirit from us, man. But that's what it's all about. Victory through faith in the Lord, Yahweh Shah, man. Victory doesn't come any other way for an Israelite. This is the only way. Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So with that, man, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful the Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has created us to do. And with that, Mr. Shalom, Wa, Yabah, Babah.